introduce the vice chair, Ted Lou. Thank you, Chairman Aguilar. Uh, I want to start with a correction. Uh, at the press conference uh, before recess, I said that 70% of Republicans are in the Republican study group. It's actually 80%, as Chairman Aguilar had noted. And that's important because the budget that they release is insane. Uh, it is going to cut Social Security. It's going to eliminate Medicare as we know it. And it's going to eliminate the Affordable Care Act. By the way, I am on Obamacare. And let me tell you why the Affordable Care Act is so important. It doesn't just apply to people who have it. It applies some of the provisions to every insurance plan. One of those provisions is a provision preventing insurance companies from discriminating against you if you have a pre-existing condition. So I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, when I was in the California State Legislature, this was before Obamacare had been passed. I was sitting at a restaurant, and this waitress knew I was in the legislature, and she came up to me, and she asked for help. At that time, if you did not have a child who was a minor, you could not get government-assisted health insurance. Her child just turned 18, and she aged out of that program. So this waitress said that she had been diagnosed uh, recently with breast cancer. She tried to get insurance. Insurance companies denied her because it was a pre-existing condition. And it became clear to me that she wasn't sick enough to go to an emergency room to get treated. But one day she was going to get sick enough, go to the emergency room, get treated, and then she was going to die. And in my mind, in a country like America, that should never happen. The Affordable Care Act fixed that. And Republicans now want to eliminate the pre-existing conditions provision. That is insane. And now it's my honor to introduce our amazing DCCC chairwoman, the great Susan Delvene. 